first of all, I'd like to apologise for my um, wet sleeves and um, my bloodshot eye. I got soap in it. We'll gloss over that. Um, right. Um, cars are getting bigger these days. Got a picture here of an original Ford Cortina, which I'm sure you won't remember, Deborah. <laughs> And the, and the modern Mondeo, which is bigger. And it's the same story with the Golf, and it's the same story uh, with the Fiesta, and it's ridiculous when we live in a country as cramped and as overcrowded as ours. So cars really should be getting smaller, and that <clears throat> is where this comes in. This is my creation, the P45. Um, now, the idea is you can drive this to a railway station and then you pop it on the train or a coach or whatever go to the next city and then you can use it there as well it's road legal can i just make sure because i think i might have missed something here you started off apologizing why your arms were wet and then didn't explain why because they've got water on them yeah i actually do travel back and forward from the west country on the train you say you can take that with you that looks quite Big to get on That's the because train companies um, put seats in their carriages, which of course they needn't do with this. If you just produced a carriage, you could drive in and just sit there. You know. Hold on a minute. So at the moment, you can't get it on a train. Not as such. No. So you've got to rely on the train companies redesigning their trains for you to get this on the train. Well, redesigning is quite easy. You just take the seats out. Okay. I. Um... Uh, yeah, Jeremy, is this your first business venture? What would it cost to have one of these on the road? £8,000. £8,000? What would you make them for? It'll cost £4,000 to build. For children or are you going to get adults? Can you really get children to work in a factory? Because that would be brilliant if you could. Jeremy has asked if he could get children to work in a factory. You must come and have a look. Theo Pafitis decides to take a closer look. Jeremy, it's shit. It isn't. It is. Totally what is it? an utter shit. Theo Pafitis thinks Jeremy's car still needs work. Well, I don't understand why you're not seeing what I'm seeing here. No, we are, what? Jeremy. Can I just say, I can see exactly what you're looking at. It's just that I can see that it's loopy and you can't. Yeah. How much of your money have you invested in this? Absolutely none at all. That is the best thing that you've done yet. Do you have a plan? Do you have any financial projects? Do you have any idea of the size of the market? How are you going to sell it to that market? Yes. So, size of the market? 1,600 a month. 1,600 a month? Or a year. Well, Jeremy, so I'm going to make you an offer. That's the ticket. One pound for one percent. Why would anybody buy this? stripes on it. I couldn't invest in you. I'm sorry, I'm out. Jeremy, I, I have to say one thing. It is the smartest I've ever seen you. So congratulations for that. You've made clearly a real effort. However, I can't invest in ridiculous things. So on that basis, Jeremy, I'm going to have to tell you I'm out. Jeremy, it's rubbish. It's useless. You're wasting your time. I can't invest in this. So I'm out. Theo Pafitis is out, which means Jeremy's only chance is Duncan Bannatyne. Well, Jeremy, I'm the last dragon in, and I, you know, I tried to tempt him by making an offer and hoping they would come in with me. So I can't understand the word you're saying. That is, I'm out. Jeremy has insulted Duncan Bannatyne, and now he too is out. All the dragons have given him his P45.